State officials have now reported more than 6,000 new COVID-19 cases, including a backlog of more than 600 cases. Thursday marked the highest single daily increase we've seen since the start of the pandemic. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane has more. What are people doing that so many, so fast this fall have, it just keeps going up and up and up. What, what are people doing? The Massachusetts Department of Public Health is reporting new jaw-dropping COVID-19 case numbers on Thursday. There are 6,477 new coronavirus cases in the Bay State, including a backlog of 680 cases. Thursday's total marks the highest daily case number increase since the pandemic began. It is overwhelming. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around something like that. Governor Charlie Baker says he needs to see more data before he makes any decisions on possibly increasing coronavirus restrictions across the state. We need to see more than one day's worth of data to make conclusions about what's a trend. Obviously, I think what we want to see is what the next few days look like. Over in West Springfield, the director of public health, Jean Galloway, tells Western Mass News she saw this uptick coming. We were also expecting this fall surge way back when this whole thing started because of you know weather changes and behavior changes and the influx of influenza and all of that. The holidays just seem to also wrap into that. West Springfield has reported 215 cases in the last two weeks, but Galloway says the town needs more testing locations to help the numbers start trending down. If we can make it available for folks and not have it be a three, four, five, six hour wait, which I understand it is in some places right now in our area, if we had more places for people to go, the more people would go and we could really get a, a better handle on things. Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.